Hi, scholars. It's Ms. Goslin. I just wanted to take the time out and record a video for those of you who were unable to join us yesterday or this morning for um, instructions on the PBL. Um, so I'm going to put this in a YouTube channel so that you can um, visit it um, and get the instructions that you need. I know that it's difficult when you have more than one kid in the house and they're all working on computers and we're all working at the same time. So I'm gonna record this video to help you out. So the first thing you need to do on your laptop or your tablet or your desktop is to access the PBL. If you didn't go and get a packet picked up at Westfield either Monday or on Wednesday of this week, uh, you'll, you can access the PBL here. You're going to go to springisd.org slash capital P A G E 6383. I have this little star here, which means that I added it to my bookmark bar. So anytime that I come, I know it's going to be bookmarked right there. Okay. So this tells you all about the third grade PBA. On this side, you can log into your Spring ISD portal, which is where you can find Schoology and your Gmail account to uh, submit your assignments. But to find the actual assignment, you have to be here at this website, Empowered Learning at Home. Right here under Project-Based Learning is where you'll find your assignment. PBL number one is called Test in You. So, you would click on this link, and when you click on it, it's going to open up to your instructional plan. How cool is that? You can download this to your computer, and if you have a printer at home, you can print it out for later. Now, this is 54 pages long, so if you're going to print it out, I suggest only printing out pages 4 through 15 because that's where the project is. The last 20 or so pages is a book, and you can just read that online. Okay, so let's get into some things that are important here. This is a message to the third graders, and this these are some symbols that you're gonna see throughout the work. This symbol means that it needs to be read to you or with you. You're all third graders, so you can read to your parents. This symbol is a check mark in a box. That means that you have an assignment to do that needs to be turned in. So now I'm gonna scroll down. Here is your reading log. This has to be turned in. You're gonna read for 30 minutes a day. And if you go to page 34, 33 of this document, you will find, let me get this one up, sorry one I can move. If you go to page 33 of this document, you'll find the book, Blue Whales and Buttercups. It is an informational text. So you'll see your table of contents, your chapter headings, your page numbers. So you're reading for 30 minutes a day. You can read this book, but you can also read anything else that you'd like. So I'm going to take us back to page four. Again, this is called the challenge brief. This is where your assignment will actually begin. So you're going to read this with your parents. And then these, this is the project requirements. There are three parts to this project. The first part is to design a research plan. The second part is to create an informational poster. And then the third part is to write a persuasive paper. Remember, Persuasive is one of the author's purpose. Persuade means to convince someone to do something that you want them to do. Persuasive writing is usually in letters, opinion pieces, and essays. Speeches sometimes do, especially if you want somebody to vote for you for something, or you're trying to convince your parents to let you stay up late to watch a new episode of your favorite show. So that's what you guys are going to do. You're going to write a persuasive letter. This is called a rubric. This is how your teachers are going to grade your work. 
This is an English language arts and social studies grade. The next project will be more centered on math and science. But this one is catered to um, language arts, reading, and social studies. Here is your project schedule. This is very important because it has your assignment due dates. Now, if you click on assignments, you'll see how to submit an assignment in Schoology, okay? If you can't submit an assignment in Schoology, it's okay. You can send that to your parent, or your parents can send that to me in an email or on Dojo. They just need to take a picture of the work that you did. Make sure it's a good one. There's also an app called Genius Scan G-E-N-I-U-S-S-C-A-N, -S -S and you can find it in your phone's app store. It makes whatever you take a picture of into a PDF, and they can email it to me. So let's get into the actual project. So what's to do first? Your research plan, which is on page seven, and your research questions, which is on page nine. Then next week on the 23rd, your poster is due. Then the last part of the project is your letter and your checklist. And again, you can submit this to Schoology by taking a photo or submitting a document of your finished work on Schoology or sending it through Dojo to my, or to my email. So remember this icon, that means that mom and dad have to read that with you you're gonna discuss changes in a community over time. So how are new homes built? What happens to the old homes that are in that community? What happens if they need to clear land out? If you've been by major lately, a, a field across from the school has been torn down. They're building something, but we're not sure yet. So you're gonna read this article, this short little article, about from wood to stone. And then you're going to create your first assignment, which is a research plan. Research means you're figuring something out. You have a question and you want to answer it. So your question is, how does part of a city, how has part of a city or town changed? You can think about some place that you grew up or maybe even your parents. Use them as a resource. Here is the assignment that needs to be turned in on page seven. So again, have your parents help you out with this. So these are the steps and then there is an example. Set a purpose. What is the purpose or reason you are making an informational poster? So if I were doing an assignment on the weather uh, in Houston, versus the weather in New Jersey where I grew up, then the purpose of my poster is to identify uh, the differences between the weather in Texas and New Jersey. So that would be the purpose, purpose of my poster. Identify the topic. What will people learn by reading your poster? So I said, I'm gonna talk about the weather. So on my poster, my poster will describe the weather, um, will describe hurricanes in Houston versus nor'easters in New Jersey. Those are two different types of weather events and they're very, very different. A hurricane and a nor'easter are very different. Then you're gonna list your research goals. What information will you research to support your topic? So I have to figure out what a nor'easter is, what a hurricane is, and how do they change communities, okay? So those would be the things that I'm gonna look up. You can use Google um, to help you search. So then that's it. I would write that down in my plan, have my parent take a pic, and send it to Ms. G. The next step is for you to look at this picture below. And it says, think about people or events from the past um, that um, help you learn about your life today, okay? So think about it. 
Martin Luther King Jr. paved the way for equal rights for Blacks and other people of color. Because of him, people like me and you can go to school with um, non-colored people. You're going to read this article on Yankee Stadium, then and now. So we know that this is comparing what it looked like before and what it looked like after they rebuilt it. So this is a compare and contrast text structure. Remember we talked about text structure? Text structure is how the passage is organized. So if we're looking at one thing, how it looked before and then how it looked after, that's compare and contrast. So keep that in mind as you're looking at how things change in a community. It's probably going to be a compare and contrast organization. Assignment number two. Now you can answer the following questions about the article. This is an assignment that is due. So what is the author's purpose? Remember, author's right to persuade, inform, entertain, explain, describe, and that's it. So why did the author write this article? And again, make sure you, that you use the wording in the question. The author's purpose is to, number two, what did you learn from the article then and now? I can't answer this question for you because you have to tell me what you learned from it. Just one thing, okay? And again, use the words from the question. I learned from the article then and now that, okay? And then your last question for the week. How is the information in the article organized? We just talked about it. Is it compare and contrast? Is it problem and solution? Is it cause and effect? Is it description? What you, or is it sequence? Which one do you think it is? How is the information in the article organized? How does this organization help the reader understand the text? Great, so now you know how to get through your first two assignments. At the bottom of page nine, you have an optional website that you can look at, some brain pop videos on famous historical figures. Then there's also some more optional research that you can do. If you like biographies and history, check out this Dexter's website. I've used Dexter's before and it's pretty cool. So that's it for this week's assignments. We'll talk about next week's assignments next week. Okay, if you have any questions, remember to ask me or Miss Smith. Now, Schoology. You can sign into Schoology through your portal. If you go back to that page that we talked about before, you're going to click in right here where it says sign in. Now, mine automatically goes to me because that's how I log in. But you need to log in as yourself. So I'm going to use one of you guys as an example. Because I have all your usernames and passwords. In their username, your username is your last initial, your first initial, both of those capitalized, and your lunch number. If you don't know your lunch number, I gave it to your parents, but if you need it again, have them send me a message. The password is the same for everybody. You click login. You can save your password, but since this is my computer, I won't do that. So as you can see, I'm on Kiana's portal. Then I can go to instructional tab at the bottom and you're going to click on Schoology. Again, my Schoology is going to log me, it's going to log into me and my Schoology. So I'm going to log out and then log back in as Kiana. So now 
I'm in Kiana's portal. Again, Schoology. So then you can, again, save the password. Here on the left side, you'll see all the assignments that are due. On this side, you'll see the courses that Kiana is enrolled in. This is the only one that we need to worry about. Empowered ES Major at Home Learning, Grade 3. Up here is some notifications and requests, basically saying what to do when. So you will click onto this class. And it tells you again how to submit your assignments online. Oh, and look, they have something new. They added the link for the PBL. But it's broken. <laughs> so remember to just go back to the beginning page that I showed you before. All right, so back here. This is where you can submit your assignments, grade three. You click on the folder. You click on the next folder. And then you submit what you needed to submit that week. So this week is the research plan and the informative text questions. Now, if you wanna join the conference live every day, one at 9 a.m. and one at 12.50 p.m. with Ms. Smith and I, you would still be in this page and you're gonna click over here where it says conference. As you can see, here are all the conferences of all the different teachers. So make sure that you find the right class for you. So Ms. Hollins, Ms. Flowers, and then there you are, third grade Goslin Smith PM support. 4.14.20.0.50 to 2.10. It's not started yet. So at 12.45, Ms. G will start it. And then this part will be blue, just like Ms. Acosta and Mr. Lopez's name right here. If when this is blue, then that means you can join the conference. That means it's in progress. These all mean that it's not started yet. So that's how you can join the conference to talk to me and Ms. Smith every day. Well, I hope that helped you a little bit with figuring out how to get into your project and into Schoology. Again, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, have your parents reach out to me either via text message or dojo. My email address is C, G as in George, O as in Oscar, S as in Sam, S as in Sam, E as in Edward, L as in Larry, I as in Ivy, at sign springisd.org. Okay, well, that's all I have for you right now. So I will post this on my YouTube channel and then I will also post it on my school website. And I will link those to Dojo. Thank you for watching. And I'll see you guys later on. Bye.